clients came in today and we signed uh, their estate planning documents. So one of the interesting things about signing documents is which ones need witnesses, which ones are required to be notarized. And I guess you may not be interested by that. And I'm hoping you are, and that's why you're watching. But to me, I find it fascinating that the body of law that carried through really causes us to observe, witness, and notarize these documents different. So I'll start with an unrelated document. A contract, a contract of sale is not a notarized document. It does not even need to be witnessed. A seller of property can sign as a seller. A buyer of property can sign as the buyer buyer and that places them in contract. And it's legally permissible in New York. You don't need the documents notarized. You just need consideration, right? A deposit, an agreement between a seller and a buy, uh, and a, a seller and a real estate agent does not need to be notarized. Right? So there are certain documents we understand don't need to be notarized. A deed does have to be notarized and there's specific rules and regulations concerning the format of notarization for a deed, both in state, in New York, and if you sign a New York deed, but have it executed outside of New York. There are specific rules written into the law. Now, a will, a last will and testament, it is required that you have two independent witnesses. See, I like that. That's two independent witnesses. One, two, two, two witnesses. It's not required to be notarized. I will notarize a statement from the witnesses at the time that the will is executed that they have observe. I do that. I, that's an extra protection. A healthcare proxy, it does not, it must not, it does not have to be, it does not have to be notarized to witness. A power of attorney, it has to be both witnessed and notarized. Requirement of a power of attorney. So uh, the power of attorney principal, it's the person that's making the power of attorney, must sign in front of two witnesses. And then the two witnesses, their signatures have to be notarized. They want to do away with fraud and a trust, a revocable living trust or an irrevocable living trust or a document that you just call a trust. It is not required that there are any witnesses, just a note. So a trust has to be notarized. Doesn't matter if you have witnesses, you just need the one person. That's the notary. Let's interest last will a testament. Two witnesses not required to be notarized. Trust don't need any witnesses, but it must be notarized. The body self law and a contract of sale. No witnesses or not notaries required. Mm -hmm.